Hi, this is Porter Thorndike introducing an exciting new feature in release 9.2, which is DSML explainability. In release 9, we introduced something called machine learning functions. You're looking at it right now. This allows us to graphically, within a data flow, train data and use a series of algorithms. You're looking at some of the ones that are produced right here to help us do a number of things. In this case, we're using a binary classifier to help us understand bank customers and their probability of churn. Very feature rich. We've got feature importances that can help you understand it. Precision recall curves, ROC curves. You can see we're scoring that historical data set. And we can save a model if we like the results we can save that and apply that to current and incoming data. Think about bank customers where we want to score them for probability of churn. Okay, so now we're looking at our current data set and we are predicting the probability of churn. To take this to the next level, if we see a customer with a high probability of churn, I'm going to find one right here. We want to be able to understand why did the model predict that? That's what DSML explainability is. As we look at it right here, this customer has an 89% chance of churn. On the left, the impact plot is helping us understand which features and which variables contributed most greatly to this prediction. The color of the bar is showing you and helping you understand whether it was because it had a very low score, a very high score. In this case, we see this customer, the total transactions, actual value of 16 was a lot lower than the average or the range. Likewise, the total transaction amount, also a low value. I think it was an actual value of 692, where the average that we expect is 4,404. What's cool is that we can even go beyond understanding and explainability and we built in what if analysis. So we can actually modify the values and rerun the model and it will help us understand what impact that that might have on their score. So I'm going to say, well, what if this customer had the average number of transactions? How would that impact their prediction? We rerun it, it actually would have a dramatic impact. We'd see their churn probability would go down to 43%. So really exciting new no-code tools we've added, not only to help you train models, but to help you understand why the predictions are being made as they are, and to be able to do some what-if analysis as well.